हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ विनोद पनारा एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट फ्रिक्शन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओके सो एग्जाम्पल अ ब्लॉक ऑफ वेट 300 न्यूटन इज लाइंग ऑन अ रफ ओरिजेंटल प्लेन हैविंग कॉफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन 0.3 पॉइंट थ्री नाउ फर्स्ट In this example, there is a one block. This is block. Here, there is a one diagram. This is block, and block lying on a rough horizontal surface. Now, weight of block it is given 300 newton, and coefficient of friction, which is equal to mu, it is also given 0.3. Okay, find the magnitude of the force, external force, which can move. the body while acting at an angle of 25 degree with the horizontal so in this example there is a one block of weight 300 newton in weight always that is in downward direction now we have to apply some external force which is denoted by p in this diagram and external force is at 25 degree with horizontal so in this diagram this external force p it is at 25 degree with horizontal okay and in vertical direction upward there is one r and f force of friction which is opposite to external apply force okay now in this example given data first weight of block 300 newton second coefficient of friction 0.3 third angle made by the force with the horizontal it is equal to alpha is equal to 25 degree then let p it is equal to magnitude of the force which can move the body so p means external force now f is equal to force of friction okay now first step in this example resolving the forces horizontally so in this diagram there is a two force first f and second component of r in horizontally so f the in this direction and p cos 25 degree in this direction opposite direction so f is equal to p cos alpha that is equal to p cos 25 and p 0.9063 so this is resolving the forces horizontally now resolve the force vertically so in vertically there is a three component w weight that is in vertical downward direction then r that is in vertical upward direction and vertical component of p which is equal to p sin alpha which is vertically upward direction so r is equal to w minus p sin alpha now put value of w put value of sin alpha so we get r is equal to 300 Minus p into zero point four two two six. Okay. Now we know that coefficient of friction mu is equal to f divided by r. So transfer r on that side. So f is equal to mu into r. We know the value of f and we know the value of r from horizontal component and from vertical component. so put value of f and value of r so we get 0.9063p is equal to mu into r now put value of r 0.3 and in the bracket value of r so after resolving this equation we get only one unknown that is p p means external applied force so p is equal to 90 divided by 1.0331 and p is equal to 87.1 newton 
सो पी मीन्स एक्सटर्नल अप्लाय फोर्स ओके एंड रिमेम्बर दैट दिस फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एफ दैट इज ऑलवेज इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन टू पी बट इन दिस एग्जाम्पल पी इट इज एट थर्टी डिग्री टू द होरिजेंटल सो फर्स्ट रिसोल्व दिस पी इन टू होरिजेंटल कंपोनेंट इन वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट सो इन होरिजेंटल कंपोनेंट पी कोस अल्फा एंड इन वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट पी साइन अल्फा एंड अल्फा वी नो दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री विच इज एंगल मेड बाय पी विथ होरिजेंटल ओके सो इफ देर इज अ फोर्स गिवन विच इज एट अ पर्टिक्युलर एंगल विथ ओरिजेंटल देन रिसोल्व दिस फोर्स इन टू टू अ पर्टिक्युलर कंपोनेंट एंड रिमेम्बर दैट कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन म्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ डिवाइड बाय आर म्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ डिवाइड बाय आर सो ट्रांसफर दिस आर ऑन दैट साइड सो एफ इज इक्वल टू म्यू इन टू आर ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट टूडे लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ओके थैंक यू